Hello and welcome back to Dr. Anna Danino's channel. Today we will be discussing the topic of pectus escavatum, its pathology, and its treatment. Pectus escavatum is a relatively common congenital defect accounting for 90% of chest wall abnormalities and affecting 23 in 10,000 people, mostly men. It is the posterior depression of the sternum, either symmetrically or asymmetrically, resulting in the sunken appearance of the chest. In some rare cases, pectus escavatum moistens with puberty and leads to more serious complications, resulting in 2% of PE patients having congenital cardiac diseases. For these particular cases, symptoms include shortness of breath, loss of endurance, chest pains, and irregular heartbeats, with the most common complaint from patient being the inability to perform physical activities, i.e. having exercise intolerance. Even so, most pectus escavatum patients do not experience such symptoms, and those that do usually have them dealt with as children. To detect and measure the severity of a defect, the Holler index, a ratio of the transverse to the anterior posterior diameter, is used while observing the CT scans of the chest. Pectus escavatum patients have relatively larger transverse diameters compared to non-patients. Most patients, on the other hand, that do not experience cardiopulmonary complications and merely have a chest wall deformity may still suffer from psychological distress. This includes self-esteem issues, embarrassment, anxiety, and depression, and highlights the necessity for a purely cosmetic surgery. In such cases, the previously mentioned CT scan allows us to make the custom-made heart silicon implants. For the CT scan, a 3D reconstruction of the thoracic cage is made using a medical imaging software since the implant will have to be placed directly on top of it. Then modeling of the implant can begin such that it fills the gap in the patient's chest. Once finished, a 3D printed mock-up of the implant is tested first on the patient's chest and if it fits well, then a final version of the implant is made out of hard silicon. As we can see in this photo, the interior of the implant mimics the shape of the chest wall to ensure it's closed fitted. Thanks to the significant improvement of 3D reconstructive technology, the implants are now molded to such high precision that they leave no signs of the original defect. The silicon implants are placed under the skin fat, and muscles, and in, in an otherwise minimally invasive surgery. Post-operative patients will need to wear compression garment for four to six weeks, allowing the skin to move back onto the implants and improving the quality of the scar, which will fade away after six months. Patients will also need to have seroma removed two to four times before the body accepts the implant. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and comment your suggestions.